Facial hair and beards are everywhere on Belfast streets. Big beards, small beards, old beards, young beards. You can't walk down the street without witnessing whiskers. Last Christmas saw beard oil flying off the shelves as a top gift for men. But from where has this beard trend grown? I think you can't walk down the street without seeing beards now on every guy. Every guy's trying a beard. Whether it's a full beard, half beard or stubble, they're trying. Men are dropping the macho image a bit. I wouldn't say fully, but a bit. They're not scared to admit they're using balms, waxes, moisturisers, oils. Well, I think personally it makes you look a bit more sophisticated and maybe you look a bit more intelligent. It's a very much more stylish thing now. People do style their beards a lot more than they used to. You don't want to be going around with a wee baby face. Like, you need a wee bit of something going on just think it helps a lot. Because of my religion, I'm a Muslim, that's why I leave my beard. Then I see it is nice. No any pimples from there, then I'm, I love it. Uh, I've been growing my beard for seven months, maybe. And it's awesome. <laughs> Belfast men are not alone in their quest for beard perfection. In fact, as far back as ancient Egypt, men coloured and plaited their beards to mark special occasions. There are physical benefits of having beards too. They help filter out pollen, prevent acne and protect from harmful UV rays. Small wonder that Belfast has decided to celebrate all things beardy. Well, we had a beard festival uh, for Culture Night and it was so much fun that even myself, I don't have a beard, but I don't care. I wanted to be part of the world of the beard. So we went with this uh, slogan of celebrate the culture of the beard. I got into being fascinated and interested in beards was the fact that my husband um, has a beard. I started growing it um, a few years back, but then when Game of Thrones came to Northern Ireland to film and they were looking for extras, he thought it would be a really good idea to get into the film industry that way. Um, so the beard has got longer, the hair has got longer, and uh, I know so many people who have, who have grown their beard because of Game of Thrones. It's incredible. <laughs> Yeah, well, I started growing the beard because of Game of Thrones. Uh, I'm an extra, and that is part of the business required for the work. So, everybody on set who's male has a beard, no exceptions. It seems to be sort of in thing. I don't think I've been clean shaven since I was about 16. I'll probably try and grow it out a bit more, just sort of connect it up a bit and get the moustache going. Women like beards, girls don't. Don't like beards. Don't like beards. No. <laughs> So what does the future hold? Recent studies have suggested that we've reached peak beardness and that the trend for beards is on the way out. But are the men of Belfast ready to reach for the razors? Or is the beard trend going to keep on growing? I think future for beards will be at a point where we hit this year for these trends, summer and stuff, will be a bit of a designer beard. That sort of bearded club has given uh, Northern Ireland to, to stand up for itself saying we've got great bearded guys and I think the trend is definitely going to stay.